so um I got an MD3 except it's not really for me it's um for a makerspace I'm working with um because I'm gonna be their 3D printer guy um and they didn't have a 3D printer um so I advise they bought an MD3 because pretty cheap and it can do enough um, and we're going to be teaching classes on 3D printing where everyone gets to build their own MD3. Um, and in order to keep the cost of the classes low, it's preferable to have a cheap 3D printer. Um, and if I'm going to teach a class on it, it's good to be familiar with the MD3. So here we have an MD3. I just built it. It's printing the um, test dog is what I think it's called. Though it looks more like a paw. Printing okay. It's not perfect. Not perfectly leveled. I did a very quick job of leveling it, but it seems to have the even decent bit of heating. Also, this test file is sliced without the hotbed on, so it's just adhering with whatever this surface is. Um, I have a filament holder. I don't know where to stick this. My bottom was over tightened, so the printer was warped, but I loosened that and that fixed it. Um, what else? is wrong with this printer. Um, I don't know what Oh dear, these are not in alignment, so I can't, I got these two screws in, but the, this is, these holes are poorly drilled, or this is out of alignment or something, because I can't get these two in. Um, power supply smells, but that's the problem with all of these Chinese printers, and at this point, learn to live with it. At least it doesn't have exposed main wiring like that dangerous FL Sun power supply. Um, control screen's rather nice. So this is a proper wheel compared to the little stubby thing on the FL Sun. Um, I mean, it's a micro SD printer which annoys me. Um, I wish it used full size SDs. The micro SDs are so fiddly. Um, it includes the crappiest micro SD reader I've ever seen. Um, but it does actually include a decent amount of accessories. You get the, the acupuncture needle. Um, so, you know, if you need to do therapy after um, going insane trying to get your printer printed. It, it's who unplugs the knots, obviously. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'm being funny. I'm probably not. Um, it includes the little uh, paint scraper, so if you accidentally paint in the wrong place when you want to change the boring black of your 3D printer, you can like, go clean it up or whatever those things are for. Again, I know what it's for. I know it's to get the things off the bed. I'm just trying to be funny. I'm probably going to just be really good news on the side. Uh, yeah. Um kind of fun to watch because it's really funny because this moves one way, this belt, and then these move the other way and it's like competing with itself and that's kind of fun to watch. Um, I really like how it's built. I like how it uses the X360 connector for the power supply. I like how the main wiring is hidden away. Um, it's so much more sturdy feeling than my FL Sun. My FL Sun would, um, when you grabbed it up here and you rotated, it would, the whole frame would twist. Um, this is a much better built printer than the FL Sun. Um, I, I, I must say that I wish uh, this had been out when I was shopping for my personal printer. Because there's no way I would have bought the FL Sun if I had had the option of this. Um, did I mention I have no clue where the heck I put this? Do I shove it up here? Because that's kind of stupid. Um, I mean, it probably makes sense to put it like here or something. Like that, maybe? Um, with some nuts, uh, some, um, of the stupid tea nuts this thing used. But I also don't like the nuts this used. I like the FL Sun ones better because these ones are much more fiddly. Um, they're, they're like, uh, rectangular ones that only go in one way. Um, I mean, really, my only point of comparison to this is a beat up MakerBot 2 and an FL Sun. Um,. And I must say, this is the best printer I've used so far. Um, 
just based on build quality and stuff, I haven't done very many prints on it, so of course it awaits final judgment. But, um, I mean, the extruder is skipping, which isn't great. I don't know if I have to tune current on that or whatever. You can see it skip, and then skip. Give it a little help. Yeah, so I quite like this. Um, I don't like the tensioning system either. I like how it does have a tensioner here. The FL Sun had no tensioning on the um, X axis, but the FL Sun's Y tensioning mechanism was much easier just to quickly adjust than this, where you have to undo three screws and pull this back just instead of getting the leverage of having a screw tensioner. Um, yeah, it's not a perfect printer by any means, but um, I paid less than 200 well, I didn't pay for this, but the Makerspace paid less than $200 for this. Um, and, I mean, it seems to be printing pretty well. I mean, it's not printing great, but it's the first print, and... This is coming out a hell of a lot better than the first print on my FL Sun, so that's something. Um, I definitely need to tune it, properly level the bed, maybe turn the hot bed on. Um, but, I mean, it, it's also much quieter than my FL Sun, which is nice. It's just kind of better in every way. Um, I don't know, I may get one for myself, especially if I do end up teaching a class on this, actually the Makerspace might buy me one. Um, so I have one to, like, uh, use as my own for the class or whatever, I don't know. Um, or if they pay me to teach the class, I might use the payment to buy one, and it, I don't know. Um, I kind of want one now. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what we can do about that. The extruder's skipping again, the extruder likes to skip, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's all. Just very first impressions um, of an Ender 3. I will probably have a full reveal eventually because I will be using, I, I will be printing a lot of demo prints um, to show off at the Makerspace and to show off at um, the um, STEM Fest, which is like a knockoff Maker Fair. Um, for our local community, I'm, I, I will be getting a little bit of there, but, um, yeah, it's our, 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 um, yeah, we're in the suburbs of New York, and apparently we're doing a STEM fest, um, I don't know, so, um, and the major space is going to be there, so they want me to have, like, test prints and stuff, and also just test prints to show off around the maker space, and, uh, so, so I will be printing a lot of test prints to get a feel for the print quality of this, and, Hopefully I can get everything dialed in and printing well. Um, I also have a friend who owns an any uh, Mega or whatever. Um, maybe I can get him to um, let me borrow his to make uh, another point of comparison. Um, yeah, that's all. It's a good printer um, compared to what I know, it seems to be a good printer compared to other people's knowledge as well, because a lot of the reviews on the internet say so. The extruder's skipping again. I don't know, maybe I need to, like, optimize this boating one or something. Um, we'll figure it out. That's all. Bye.